You might be wondering why Hawaii was on the list since Bank of America closed its branches here many years ago. But its presence as a mortgage lender, according to one real estate company, is pretty substantial. KITV4's Catherine Cruz is here to explain. Catherine? Well, Paula, you might recall Bank of America acquired Countrywide Home Loans two years ago. That's how it positioned itself as a major player in the state. Every day, it seems, the foreclosure notices in the newspaper just seem to take up more space. You can see Bank of Hawaii Countrywide Home Loans scattered across the pages. Countrywide's files actually represent, or Bank of America's files now, actually represent about a little over 70 percent. So it's a substantial share. But Higashi says the actual number is not as dramatic. Of the 400 or so uh, foreclosure actions that we were able to view, about 70 percent of those are, do belong to the Countrywide slash Bank of America portfolio. But in the scale of the entire market, that's actually not a very big number. It may be too early to tell what the bank action will mean to families getting foreclosed on. It's possible it may buy them more time to work things out with the bank. Higashi doesn't believe the foreclosure sales already in the pipeline will be stalled. But any processing delay could also mean a delay when the properties go back onto the market. That could be bad for areas where inventory is tight. But... In other neighborhoods, there's still a lot of existing inventory, and in particular in West Oahu and the Eva Plain and Middle Line, there is a lot of inventory right now still available. Another area where foreclosures are high are resort markets on the neighbor islands where buyers picked up vacation homes, but it's not clear how many of those were handled by Bank of America. There is some degree of pressure in the market to help homeowners rather than foreclose on them. So I think that the bank's steps, like I said, could be better news for consumers. That, of course, depends on what next steps the banks decide to take. Some economists, though, caution there could be some unattended consequences. All eyes will be watching to see how this plays out. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.